learned about uh, this season and uh, the time of release. And I pray that God will help you to follow all the sermons because there are so many things we have taught and I cannot dwell on them. Otherwise, I will not minister what I need to minister today. I want us to go to the book of Jonah. Chapter 1, we read just 1 verse 17. And then we go to chapter 2 and read 1 to 10. If you are there, you shout a big shout of amen. So I'm waiting for amen so people are not there. Jonah is not in, in the New Testament. There is a book in the Old Testament. And says, and I want you to mark those ones written there. Now the Lord and prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. A prepared fish. Verse 1. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord as God from the belly, from the fish belly. Continue. And he said, I cried unto the Lord because of my affliction and he, he said, he, uh, he answered me, out of the belly of Shoel, I cried, and you heard my voice. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the floods surrounded me. All oh, your billows and your waves passed over me. Then I said, I have been cast out of your sight, yet I will look again towards your holy temple. The water surrounded me, even to my soul. The deep closed around me, winds were wrapped around my hands. I went down to the mooring. Of the mountains. The earth. With its bars. Closed behind me forever. Yet you have brought up. My life from the pit. O oh Lord. My God. When you. When my soul fainted within me. I remembered the Lord. And my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Continue. Those who regard worthless idols for a sick, their own mercy. Continue. But I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving and repay. What I have vowed. Salvation. Is on the Lord. Then finally. So the Lord spoke. To the prepared fish. And it vomited. Jonah. Onto dry. Land. Say amen to the reading. Of the word of the Lord. So. My topic. For the sermon this morning, before I tell you the topic, I want to remind you that I said some seasons need activation. They don't come until they are what? Activated. They are there. When I send you money through m -Pesa, you don't have money until you cash it. Am I talking the truth? When I write you check, you don't have money. And you go and what? 
ndipo sasa au cash check so the promise when given to you uh, sometimes it will need activation if you don't activate it it will remain dormant it will not help you and i said seasons are activated by prayer when you pray things happen so today i want to share about my sermon topic is praying yourself out of affliction praying yourself out of afflictions there are some afflictions you need to pray yourself out no people to help you come out there is yourself sometimes there is no intercessor you are the one in your own distress you are the one afflicted and you must activate a release from affliction otherwise afflictions will continue many are afflictions of the righteous are you hearing me but the lord will deliver him from them all but the lord will not just wake up and deliver you you must pray yourself out of afflictions am i communicating here you must pray yourself out now let me go to the scriptures then i come to explain more Jonah you know his story he entered into afflictions by rebelling and doing what he wanted to do not what the lord wanted him to do and he met himself in a situation that he could not imagine Jonah could not imagine he would be in that situation he could not so when he was thrown into the water the people were throwing him into the water to die <laughs> they were not throwing Jonah to swim to safety they were throwing him down to die in fact even they you read verse 16 in chapter 1 you understand immediately they threw him down even they feared god and worship and sacrificed the men feared the lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice to the lord and took vows because jonah is god because it was causing a problem to them some men threw him and they said now it's over So sometimes you can be a problem to people and you even people rejoice as they cast you down. And they give sacrifice to God and say, thank you God, he is God. He has been so much a problem. But now he's God. Hallelujah. Never be a problem to people. Be a blessing. Uh, you see people attending barriers. You think they are going to the moon. Some go to celebrate. Say he's gone. He's gone. And, and, and why are they doing that? They feel this man or a woman is a threat. So they are relieved. But now look at this. As men plan to destroy Jonah. God has a plan. God knew Jonah will rebel. And as Jonah was planning to rebel, God was planning something else. He was preparing a fish and telling you, fish, here is my servant. Who is going to rebel? 
Get ready. The moment they throw him down, I will position you where? Swallow him. So, the Bible says, and God prepared a fish. The other version says, and God and appointed a fish. Not that moment, he had. He knew John will rebel. So I want to put to someone this morning, your distress somehow might have been designed. There is what you are going through, it was planned in advance to prepare you for what God wants you to be. So some distress come or afflictions come to prepare you for the season of joy. I wish you can understand that. Sorrow may come, but that sorrow is working out a good plan. Sorrow is working out a good plan. It will turn by mourning into dancing. How will it turn into dancing if it is not there? It must be there for it to be turned. Am I, am I communicating here? So, some seasons are prepared to prepare you. So, some few days of sorrow may come to prepare you for many days of joy. I hear this now. Many may go through something for a few days to prepare them for great things for many years. Am I speaking to you? So don't give up. When evil. Begins to happen to you. God has already promised. There shall be so many. Afflictions. He says in this world. You shall find trouble. But be of good courage. I have overcome the world. That's something you need to be of good courage. He has overcome the world. Many heroes have scars. Many heroes have scars. If you have no scar, then you have no story to tell us. So some things go, you get scars. Am I speaking to you? Scars. And these scars are source of your testimony. See, what happened to your leg? You start explaining. Why is your hand like this? You start speaking. Testimony. So, do you have a seal for anything? So, there are some things that God intentionally prepared for you to go through. I wish you can understand. So, when you meet yourself there, don't just sit there. Look for a way out. Otherwise, you may die even when you are not appointed to die. Some things you have to find yourself out. The Bible says there is no temptation that comes to you beyond your ability. And if it comes, so some of us, the problem is you are waiting for temptation to come to pass. And it is greater than you. And the Bible has provided for an alternative. The Bible says look for the way out. So when it has come on you, ask what is the way out? So some of us are resting where you are not supposed to rest. In a situation that you are not supposed to be. So the fish 
is not an enemy of Jonah. It is doing the Lord's assignment to the man who has refused to do God's assignment. So some fires are not thrown. They have been released so that to restore you back to the Father's way. Say amen. The Bible says, in the day of your affliction or in the day of trouble, when you fade, then your strength was what? It was small. Not, not the problem is, not, not any other problem. If you can, in the day of your adversity, the day of your affliction, the day of your, uh, your, your, your distress, if you faint, then the problem was not God. Not the devil was too much. It gives us another answer. Your strength was small. So you should not have small strength. In some situation, you need to be tough. Huh? It is this which will make you keep moving. Otherwise, you will be destroyed. The world is not your friend. Devil is not your cousin. Am I speaking to you? He wants to destroy you like yesterday. Because that is his mission. So you have to be tough. Am I speaking here? You need to be tough. You need to be strong. I stand firm and say, I am coming out. So don't, don't start singing about your distress and affliction. Look for a way out. And today I have come with the testimony of Brother Jonah to encourage you out of your distress. Now, go to verse 1 in chapter 2 of that book dedicated to Brother Jonah. The Bible says, then Jonah praying to the Lord is God from the belly fish. Take me to the old King James. I tell you, you need to read more, many versions of the Bible. Don't just read one. Can you read? Can you see? New Old King James. Can you read now? See, the story has changed. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord is God out of the fish's belly. He prayed himself out. <laughs> if he did not pray himself out, he would have lasted more than three days. The fish had been appointed to swallow Jonah for three days. Signify that Jesus will be on the tomb for three days. So it was symbolic. Am I speaking to you? It was symbolic. So it was illegal for Jonah to extend his stay on the belly of fish. We don't know how long fish was prepared to keep him without digesting him. I wish you can understand that. So, he had to pray himself out. Because he was only supposed to be there for three days. The agreement with God and fish, which Jonah never knew. It was that the fish should hold Jonah for three days. So your affliction has an expiry date. Your time of suffering has an expiry date. Ah, I wish you can hear this. So there are days you're not supposed to exist in a situation. Even jails, they have terms. You are sentenced for one year. 
Even if you love prison, you are not supposed to extend. Because now you become a bother to the, to the ones that are holding you. You are eating their food. They want to release you. So some of us, you want to be released like yesterday. But you are not looking for your way out. Am I speaking to you? You need to understand God never appointed you to go through something forever. It has an end. There is an end to the troubles of your marriage. There is an end of troubles of your business. There is an end of the troubles of your children. There is an end to any suffering. So there is an end. It is appointed that one day, like today, you must be released from whatever is holding you. That is why I have come to speak to you this day and tell you, like our brother Jonah, pray yourself out. Ah, come on, come on. He prayed himself out of fish. So, I don't know what you are swallowed by. But we are going to pray today out. I say we are praying this morning out. Are you ready to pray yourself out? It is not your pastor who is going to pray you out. You are going to pray yourself out. If you are agreeing with me, can you say amen? Can you lift her right hand and say, today I'm praying myself out of any belly. Anything. Jonah was swallowed by a great fish. I don't know how, how what has swallowed you, if it is great or famous or not. But when he was there in the belly, he said, belly, I cannot stay. I am praying myself out. Ah, come on, come on, man. I pray that somebody will pray himself out of death. Somebody will pray himself out of sickness. Somebody will pray himself out of poverty. Somebody will pray himself out of any limitation. Pray yourself out. Turn to your neighbor. And tell your neighbor, pray yourself out. So, Jonah prayed himself out. So, one lesson we learned from our brother Jonah. He used the necessary tools at disposal to bring himself out. Hallelujah. So he did not say, let me die. Let me die. He prayed himself out. So I refuse to surrender to the situation. If you want to surrender, surrender only to God. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pray yourself out of that level. I say pray yourself out of that level. And say, I cannot be in this level. If you are in the level, you are earning thousands. Pray yourself to the level of ten thousands. If you are earning ten thousands, pray yourself to the level of hundred thousands. If you are earning hundred thousands, pray yourself to millions. Pray yourself out. I wish you can hear that. Pray yourself out. Out of distress. Out of any pain. Pray yourself out of pain. Pray yourself out of sufferings. Pray yourself out of single life. Am I talking to you? The husband will not come. Especially if you have great destiny. Until you, you lose it. If I did not pray myself out, my wife and the purposed to remain single. Never to be married. But I had to pray myself out. 
And as I prayed myself out, I prayed her in. And when she could not pray, because she never wanted, as I was praying, God forced her. Because you can, God cannot give you until you ask. So, God had to tell her, ask, and by force. And she was forced to ask for me. Because I forced her in my life. So, some things cannot just happen. Am I, am I talking to you? You force them. And when you force them, they happen. They happen. So Jonah prayed himself out of his belly. Out. Today we are praying ourselves out. Ah, come on. I say we are praying ourselves out. You pray yourself out of any life. Pray yourself out of a single room. Bed sitter. Pray yourself out of tenancy. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pray yourself out. When you are coming out of something, you are coming into something. Where was Jonah thrown? Into the dry land. Out of fish belly, into the dry land. Some situations are prepared by the Lord and they are waiting to hear from the Lord. And the Lord is waiting to hear your prayer to instruct what has swallowed you. And you are not praying. If Jonah never prayed, God would not speak to the fish. Your situation is waiting to hear the voice of God. And God is waiting to hear your voice. And you have decided to keep quiet because problem is too much. If problem is really too much and makes you not to talk to God, that is too much. Because now, you will die in your situation. Why are people so much distressed? I said, I have talked to many people. I have received so many calls. Many people are living, as I speak now, in depression. Stress. If things are working well for you, thank God for grace. There are people who are having pains and distress. And some are telling me, I, cannot, I don't have strength even to come to church. So that, that, that means you are dead. I don't have strength even to pray. So now, how do we help you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, post-COVID is greater than during COVID. The effects are too much. More than when the COVID was there. If you are not feeling impact, yeah, you need to lift up your hand and tell God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some people are feeling it, whether in business, whether in employment, in marriage. And the problem is, we allowed it to happen. We rejected what was supposed to help us. So if you have released yourself, I want you to, to resist the devil. Ah, come on. I, I say I want you to resist the devil. And I want you to refuse to die. I want you to refuse to be small. I want you to refuse to continue suffering. And say enough is enough. And I am coming out. Refuse to be where you are. 
Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm talking to somebody this morning. I say I am talking to somebody this morning. I say I am going to go. I am going to grow. I'm going to expand. Devil, you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. I have come to a season of release. That means the appointed time for me to come out is now. And I pray myself out. Am I speaking to you? Pray yourself. Pray yourself where? Out. Now, let us look at Brother Jonah. How did he pray himself out? Number one. And he said, I want you to note. I cried out to the Lord because of my afflictions. So Jonah cried for help. So number one that we learn from this prayer, he humbled himself. Am I speaking to you? He humbled himself and when he humbled himself, he asked for help. It is pride that makes us not to ask for help. So Jonah humbled himself and prayed to the Lord. He cried. Where was he? Say, out of the belly of soil. Now he was not in the fish. You are seeing fish. He was in the belly of hell. They say the stomach is too hot. Are you understand that? Have you heard that? The stomach, it is too hot. That's what they tell us. That's why when you swallow hot substance, when it just goes down the drone, pours down here, it emits another fire. Fire for fire. <laughs> so, Jonah did not see belly of the fish. He saw belly of hell. Say hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So the man of God saw what? Hell. And look at this. In another version, I want to use another version to, 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 to read for you so that you understand. He says in the New Living Translation, he said, I cried out to the Lord in my great trouble. And he answered me, I come to you from the world of death. And the God had me. So, we, we know two things that John experienced. Number one, he says he was in the world of dead. Can you be swallowed or be alive? Anything you swallowed, is it alive? <laughs> Anything you swallowed. Three days. Three days. Without breathing in and out. How do you breathe in from the belly of the fish and not from the lungs of the fish? From the world of dead. So in other words, he was no more. He was in the world of dead. So I don't know where you are. You may be in the hell right now. Your life may be like hell. But from hell, you can pray yourself. From the world of the dead, you can still come back alive. That's why there is resurrection. Am I speaking to you? So number two, brother Jonah and faith. Number one, I said, he did what? Humbled himself. 
If you want to pray yourself out, humble your Am I communicating here? If you want to pray yourself out, number one, humble yourself. If you don't humble yourself, hmm, you are in trouble. Humble yourself. First thing. Number two, have faith. Because brother Jonah and faith. He is in the world of death. He is in the belly of hell. Yet. He believes God has had him. Can you see what brother John is saying? He did not say. You will hear me. He said and you hand me. So he is speaking already as a hand man. The Lord God has had him. He is not telling God please hear me. He says. I am already hand by the Lord. So he has heard my cry. That is that, that means he was so sure he is out of <laughs> he, he is out of the belly of the fish. Let me come close. Hallelujah. He was out of the belly of the fish. Out. Before he came out, he was out by faith. Can you see yourself out of that pain? Out of that suffering? Out of that level? He was out before he was out. So, what do you say? You shall believe you have it and you shall have it. So, Jonah believed he is out of the belly of fish. Before he was out, he was out by faith. So, as he is speaking, he is not in that Belly. In the other ones, he is not even experiencing the heat anymore. By faith, he is out. Look at the next line so that you understand what I'm talking about. So he said, you hand me. So he knows that the Lord has hand him. So he has that confidence that his prayer has been answered. And this is the confidence that helps us. So Jonah, by faith, he knew he is praying according to the will of God. Come on. If we pray according to his will, he hears us. And this is the confidence that we have. So that's the faith. So Jonah and that faith that already God has had me. Now look at this. The next line. Next line so that you understand what I'm saying. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the flood surrounded me. All your uh, bellows and your waves passed over me. So he knows, he acknowledges where he is and what he is passing through. He acknowledges the problem he is in. But look at the next thing that he says. This man. Uh -huh. Then I said, I have been cast out of your sight, yet I will look again to once your holy temple. So he is hoping to come to church. Jonah is in the belly. But he has not given up in worship. He has faith. He is going to come out and glorify God. He had faith that he is not going to die. He is already in the world of the dead. But he is not going to die. I say he is already in the world of the dead. But he has refused to die. He says still I will appear before the Lord. I will come before the presence of the Lord. It doesn't matter where you are. If you have faith. You can come out of where you are. Into where you are supposed to be. I say you can come out of where you are. Into where you are supposed supposed to be. I say you can come. Even this morning, I say this morning, you can see yourself out. I say you can see yourself out. I said you can see yourself out and pray yourself out. I say you can see yourself out and declare yourself out. So Jonah declared himself out and he said, I am going to appear before the Lord in the temple. I thought I am cast out. I I thought I would be in hell, but now I know I am coming to the temple of the Lord again. I know I am coming to the place of worship again. So have faith. 
So, Jonah is not talking about his problems. He's talking about his solutions. That's what faith does. Faith is not when you are talking about your problems. Faith is when you are talking about your solutions. Ah, come on. Faith is not when you are declaring your sickness. Faith is when you are speaking your healing and declaring. It's not when you are speaking your weakness. It's the time you are speaking your strength. Let the weak say, I am strong. And the same way, let the sick say, I am healed. And let the poor say, I am rich. So you can't take yourself out if I'm talking to somebody I want to hear I'm better a man. So he is looking towards to come to the temple of the Lord. So he is out of belly. He is out of belly already. In by faith, he is out. Spiritually speaking, Jonah is not in the fish, in the belly of the fish. Spiritually speaking, that is what you turn your life by faith. You move yourself out of that pain. You move yourself out of that sickness. You move out of yourself at that, out of that level by surface. So, Jonah, number one, humbled himself. Number two, and faith. And we say faith does not deny the presence of problem. It acknowledges it, but compares it with the power of God. So, Jonah is comparing the power of God with what he is going through. And he sees God as handing. And he is out. And I pray that somebody will be hand today and go out. I say somebody will be hand today and go out. Look at verse 6. Jump 5. Go to 6. And see faith of Jonah. Hallelujah. Huh? I went down to the moorings of the mountains. The earth with its bars closed me behind Forever. Yet, you have brought me up. <laughs> you have brought up my life from the pit. Oh Lord, my God. Jonah is saying he is out. Malabo akato rakata. He says, yes, I was surrounded. I was swallowed. Everything closed me down. But, <laughs> I am out. Imagine he is in and he is saying I'm what? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Was he vomited by that time? No. But already Jonah has vomited himself from the fish by faith. Even before he was vomited. Already he has vomited himself. If you vomit yourself by faith, God has no other choice rather than to tell the fish, now do it actually. Actually, vomit him in reality. I pray that somebody can vomit himself out. Out of that pain. I say out of that pain. Out of that situation, out of that circumstance, out of that sickness, out of that disease, it will not kill you. It will not kill your family. It will not kill your wife. It will not kill your children. I say you are a out. I say you are a out. I said you are a out. You cannot walk out of this service and continue to moon and continue in the state of sorrow. You need to put your garment of praise and begin to praise the Lord. And began to celebrate for you are a heart. Today we are uh, praying ourselves out, and I want to declare you are already out. Can you see yourself out? Doesn't matter what has closed you, what looked like it has closed you forever, what looked like it swallowed you forever, what looked like it has killed you forever, what looked like it has taken your life forever. But I want to announce to you by the power of the word of the Lord, the way Brother Jonah saw himself out. I pray that. Somebody shall see himself out. Somebody shall see herself out and declare you are out of that pit. You are out of that affliction. You are out of that prison. You are out of that distress. You are out of that pain. You are out. See yourself out. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell you now, I am out. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I like that prayer. You are in the middle of it, but you are telling God, you have taken me out. Makatarabat, say faith. You are in the middle of the matter. That is the time it was too bad. Too hot. The last day, it was hot. But the man, 
But the man of God did not see anything hot. He saw the power. Say power. Say power. He saw it. And he said, I am out of this pit. I am out of every. Look at this kindly. He says, I see. I, I, did corner. I went down to the moorings of the mountains. I, there in the sea, down. That is where they have been moving with the fish. He can see by vision. He can understand by the spirit where he is. And the heart with its bars close me behind forever. So it was closed, no, not to come. Those who uh, well, view him, they knew Jonah is gone. Uh, come on, come on. They knew Jonah is dead and they have even sacrificed. And they have even praised God. Because they saw he has become so big and so great. So Jonah, uh, according to men, he is dead. Am I talking to you? According to circumstances, he is dead. According to nature, anything swallowed for hours should die. He's dead. But Jonah refused to die. <laughs> Jonah refused to die. He acknowledged that, but he says, Oh God, you have brought me. You have brought up my life. Bring me some this life been brought up from the pit today. I say, me sample this life been brought up from the pit today. I say, me sample this life been brought up from the pit today. It may be they have buried you. It may be they have forgotten about you. It may be that they say it is history. But I have come to speak this morning. The way Jonah's life came out of the pit, your life can come out of the pit. I say, you can be great again. You can prosper again. Yeah, you can be blessed again. You can rise again. I say you can rise again. You can prosper beyond that level. They say that you cannot. No one in your family has ever reached this level. Hallelujah. I feel nice. <laughs> Are people who know their God? They shall be strong. And they shall do exploit. How we know our God then. Huh? How we cannot sink. I say we cannot sink. We cannot go down. We may appear down. But we are not down. We, it may appear like something has gone wrong. But nothing has gone wrong. God worketh everything from good. For them that love him. And those who are called according to his purpose. I came to tell somebody. It is well with you. You are coming out of that pit. You are coming out of that pit. You are coming out of that pit. I say you are coming out of that pit. And we are praying ourselves out. So see yourself out. That's faith. Faith is being sure of what you hope for. And certain of the things that you don't see. Faith is the substance of the things not seen. I'm not speaking to you. Begin seeing yourself there. Malo asidi katalabakata. Am I speaking to anybody here? See yourself out. See yourself moving to another level. See yourself earning another salary. Oh, look at that. See your business growing to another level. I even start looking for an expansion, a room to expand. Don't say it's just a man. Begin looking around Moranga, looking about Kangema, looking around Keno. Ah, come on, come on. It is easy to bring to manage those businesses when you are here. You go to Keno, you go to Kasagana, you go, <laughs> you go to Kangema, Kiraine. Come on, come on, come on. Staying one place is enough now. Come on, come on, come on, man. It is time to grow. And somebody will say a big amen. It is time to grow. It is time to expand. And all those places I have mentioned, God has prepared a shop for you. He is just waiting for you to make a step of faith and move to one start. Oh, what I have declared, it is there for you. Now the final thing for today. 
But the service, what was opening to Jonah, Brother Jonah, number three, he longed for the presence of the Lord. Yeah, he longed for the presence of the Lord. He did not long for anything else. The freedom he was looking for is to be in the presence of the Lord. Imagine you are in trouble, but you're not seeing trouble. You are missing worship. <laughs> you are in the belly of fish, but what you miss is not githeri. You don't miss chapati. You don't miss your favorite show. You miss the presence of God. Look at verse 4. Again, we go back there. This is, this is what the brother Jonah was. Then I said, I have been cast out of, of your sight, yet I will look again towards your holy temple. Amplify, put it the same way. So brother Jonah is missing the presence of the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Some of the time, when we see this challenge, we don't mind about the presence of God. We value our comfort. Jonah is not saying this place is too hot. He's telling God, I want to appear. I was, I thought I would never worship. <laughs> I thought my days of going to the temple is over. And I thought hell is my destination forever. Our living place forever. But I have noticed something. God, I am coming to worship. I will appear again in your temple. Yeah, imagine Jonah is telling God, I want to worship. I want to worship you. I want to come to your presence. I want to be where you are. Can God really deny him that chance? No. Because he wants to be worshipped. So look at what it says. Then I said I have been cast out of your presence and your sight. Yet, I will look again towards your holy temple. So he wants to come to the temple of God to worship. Imagine when you are sick, you are still missing church. I say, I want to come to church. But some of us, you don't miss church. You miss, you miss to be visited. And when you are not visited, you leave the church. You say, the church does not have love. Because they never visited me when I was sick. Look at brother Jonah. He is missing church. He want to come to church and say, I was in the belly of the fish as you see for three days. But now Jehovah, he want to proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He want to praise the Lord. I say, Brother John, I want to praise the Lord. He is pressing himself out of the problem. He needs the presence of the Lord. He needs the presence of the Lord. So he's telling God, I miss you, Papa. I miss. I, I said, I thought I would never worship you. I miss to worship. I thought I will never worship. But now I will see you at temple again. I will see the door of the church again. I will see the sanctuary. I will come to worship. You are in problem, but you miss to worship. You are in challenge, but you miss to worship. You are going through something. But you are still missing to worship. I pray that you become like Brother Jonah. It doesn't matter. Where. Imagine you are sacked and you miss the church. You, you have lost, but you still miss the church. You're telling God, I miss to be here. I want to see your church again. I want to see the holy place again. I want to worship again. I want to be in your presence again. I pray that you will be like Brother Jonah. That you will desire the presence of the Lord. I say you will desire the presence of the Lord. I say you will desire to be in the presence of the Lord. To be a worshiper. You don't need encouragement to worship. You don't need motivation to worship. You need to motivate yourself and come to the place of worship. You need to miss the house. Am, am I talking to you? When we were getting born again, the church was very good. It was so nice, so nice. People used to love themselves. 
not to be telling. Smile, smile to your neighbor. Uh -uh, there is nothing like that. The joy of the Lord used to fill the whole house. And when you come to the church, you feel nice. When you are told to jump, you are not encouraged by the praise and worship leader to jump. You are jumping by yourself, willingly. Things were happening like that until you miss. When you are going to the church, you are going out to, uh, with a lot of joy, a lot of joy. Then we used to preach by force. Hallelujah. We meet with you and say, praise the Lord. I am born again, going to heaven by faith. What about you? We start now preaching to you by force everywhere. We enter Matatu, people know we are born again. We come to the hotel, they know we are born again. We, this, this, this generation today, you don't know if they are born again or they are born againist. You don't understand. Because the, the, that joy is no longer there. That life is no longer there. I pray that we, we, we come to that life again. We come to that joy of salvation. You feel to be in the house of God. You feel to worship. Do you know, we never knew even when Kesha was was, was beginning and ending. We got just a few brothers. We start having fellowship. By the time we know it, we have already earned the night off. Praising the Lord, speaking, just sharing the word and praying together. And you meet yourself. It is an, it's a vigil by itself. Today, some of us, <laughs> you cannot separate yourself from a blanket. You can't. You love sleep so much than the presence of the Lord. That, that, that even staying overnight in the presence of God is a punishment. It's a punishment. You, <laughs> you don't miss him. You don't miss to be in his presence. You, when you connect just like that, you get refreshed. You stay there with him, talking, enjoying stories with him, taking you around and showing you things, and you feel nice. So, overnight, we used to, our, our morning prayers were not beginning at four. They are beginning at two. We start waking each other up. By the time the squad goes around, it is three. And now people start streaming to the church by 3, 3.30 for worship. Because there is a squad of brothers who are going for sisters. Going to help them. To bring them into the house of God. Today, it is sisters who are going for brothers. It is sisters who are going to encourage brothers to come to the house of prayer. It is vice versa. We used to do that, go around, and we know this region is led by brother so and so. This region is led by brother so and so. This region is led by brother so and so. And those brothers, they wake up at two, going to their region. And bringing others in the worship. And, and, and the church where we are worshiping, no light. <laughs> Not tires like this. And people, you would hear a cry early in the morning going before God. It was used to be so sweet that when, when, when you pass through the road, you cannot pass. You feel like joining these brothers and sisters in worship. I remember there's a place we went and worshipped and people were crying and worshipping God. We went out uh, to a certain shop to do some things. And then the owner was a rich guy. He never knew about God. He said, so there are people who love God like that. I would like to, to be among the people who love God like that. Imagine, he's not born again, but he wants to be among people who love God like that. Who worship like that. Who are crying to God like that. I pray that we come back to that place. And that is a way to come out. I say this is a way to come out of our distress. This is a way to come out of our pain. This is a way to come out of our sorrows. This is a way to come out of our sickness. I pray that your love of God will be higher 
done every other thing that you can miss God. Even when you're in pain, you not feel pain. You feel like coming to worship the Lord. When you are uh, uh, lacking, you don't feel like you are lacking anything. You want to be in the presence of God. That is how brother Jonah was like. He missed the house of God. I pray that we shall be people who miss the house of God. This is a place of worship. This is a place of our strength. This is where we get power to pray ourselves out. I say we get power to come out. Can you stand up and tell God, today I want to come out. Today I want to come out. The story of Brother Jonah continues in the next service, but I want, I want us to, to base ourselves on I think I've given you three or four points. Put them on a the screen. He humbled himself. Number two, he had faith. Number three, he missed the presence of God. He missed the presence of who? The presence of God. That's what Jonah was seeing about. The presence of God. The presence of God. He longed for the presence of God. He longed for the presence of God. And something close to that, he still loved God, even in trouble. The love of God never faded, even challenges. And that's verse 7. Verse 7, put it there. I want us to pray for these things to be restored to us. Verse 7. When my soul finished within me, I remembered who? What did he remember? The Lord. I remember the Lord. And my prayer went up to you. On to your holy temple. So this man. He did not allow problems. To take away the love of God. In a challenge. His love never grew good. Most of the people. When challenge come. Their love grows what? Good. Your love for God grows good. But Jonah in suffering he says, Spirit of God, I remember you. I remember you, Lord. I love you. I love you. I am going through this. But I love you, Lord. I remember to you, Lord. I remember to you. Number one, he humbled himself. Number two, he in faith. Number three, he longed for the presence of God. And number four, though he went through hard times of trouble, he still loved God. It's love. Never faded. And that is how he brought himself out. A prayer is not a prayer until it is a prayer of love. A prayer of what? Love. You demonstrate how God is good. Not to complain. Most of us in that situation you would have complained. But Jonah is not complaining. He's showing love. Things are not good for Jonah. But still Jonah. He's showing love. Can you show God love even when things are hard? If you follow down, you will understand Jonah longed to sacrifice. <laughs> he, he longed to do what? He is pain, but he still longed. Don't write that. I will come to explain that. He still longed to sacrifice. Then he is telling God, I'm, I'm ready to die. He is dying, but you're not seeing death. Seeing himself again resurrected to go and worship. To go and give to God. To God, do great things before the presence of God. That's how we pray ourselves out. We pray ourselves out. Do you want to come out? Hallelujah. Then you must borrow from our brother. You must borrow from our brother. And tell God, let me humble myself. Number two, God, let me have faith. Let me see myself out. Number three, let me love your presence more than anything. Let me long for that presence. Number four. Let my love for you never fade away. Doesn't matter what I go through. Let me continue in love. Let me continue. Save me from complaining and murmuring. Make me a believer who expects. Love. Can you lift up your hands and pray yourself out now? I have given you some hint as for a few minutes. Can you pray yourself out? Can you can you can you can you can you pray yourself out? Can you pray yourself out? Can you pray yourself out? Can you 
Rababa, Rababa Shakata, Ramama Shakata, Labakata. Number four, you write uh, uh, his love from God never fainted away despite of the problem. Oh, he loved God even in troubles. Even in troubles, he loved God. Even in troubles, he loved God. Can you lift up your, your faith and begin to talk to your master? Talk to your God. Tell God today you are coming out. 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 You are praying yourself 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 out. La pakata sandu. Shakindala. Shakantala. Rababa shakata. Ramakata. Rabakata. Rabakatala. Shakanta. Rabakata. Rabakato. Shakantala. Rababakata. Rabakata. Mashakato. Ramakantala. Shakinta. Rabakata. Rabakato la sakita. Today we are coming out. Today we are coming out. See yourself out. See yourself out. Like Jonah by faith. See yourself out. See yourself out. See yourself out. See yourself out. See yourself out on that level. See yourself out on that situation. See yourself out. 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 La Pakatala Shantaraba. Shakanta Rabakata Ramakata Rabakata 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 We are coming out of every distress. We are coming out of every pain. We are coming out of every distress. Makatala Makata Rabakan Rabishan Rabakan Rabishan Rabakanda Lakata Rabakata Labaza Rabakata Sakata Rabakata See yourself out. See yourself out. See yourself out. See yourself out. See yourself out of every situation. Of every situation, those who have been complaining instead of thanking God, ah, repent and begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. For you are not going to die there. You may be swallowed by the belly or covered by the powers of death. You are covered. There is no space, there is no room. You are swallowed. You are in the belly of the damned or oh, you are in the wound of the damned you are in the belly of hell still you can come out it is not too late it is not too late rabbi kitiri likita makandi ramando losa rakanda rikata makanda rabababa rakinta rala shakanta rapakata ramikita Rapakata, 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 Ramashakata, Rapakata, 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 Rapikata, Rapakata, Rakanta, Rapashakata, Rapashakata, Rapakata, Rapakata, Rakanta, Rakanta, Rapakata, Rakintala, Rapakata, Rapikata Rabai, Rapakata, we are are out we are out whatever fish that has swallowed us we are out now we declare we are out 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 and declare this ministry is out and declare it 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 is out it is out rapakata makantarala rakantarala 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 Rakanta Rababasha, Rapikitia, Ramashekata, Rapakata, Rapashikita, Rapakata, Rapashakata, Rapakata, Rapikata, Rapikata, Rapikita, Rapikita, Rapakata. We are out, we are out. What? 
whatever swallowed, whatever swallowed my love, whatever swallowed my mess, whatever swallowed my fist, whatever swallowed my well, vomit this morning, vomit this morning, vomit this morning, vomit this morning, rabat. Kata, rabinta, ramakata, rapakata, rapinta sa, rapakata, rapakatola, shantiri lika, ramakanta, rapakata, rapakata, rapikita, rapakata, rapinda la, rapataka, rapakato, shakanta, rakanta, rakenta, rakenta, rakanta. Rakanta, rakanta, rapakata, 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 rakato, shakata. Come and pray yourself out. Come and pray yourself out. Come and pray yourself out. 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 Declare you are out. Declare you are out. You know what has limited your life. You know what has limited your life. You know what has limited your family. You know. You know it. Pray yourself out. Pray yourself out. Pray yourself out. Pray yourself out. Rabakata. Rabakata. Jonah prayed himself out of fish's belly. Pray yourself out of the belly. Out of the belly of whatever has fallen. Out of the belly of poverty. Out of the belly of sickness. Out of the belly of distress. Out of the belly of affliction. Can you pray yourself out? 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 La bakatala shantaralala shantaralala shantarababa la kanta rabakanda rabakanda Rabakanda, Rabakanda, Rabakato, Rabindi Kanda, Rabindi Kanda, Rabindi Kanda, and Taralaka, Mashakata, Rabakata. Now, now lift up your hands now. Thank God to help you to have these qualities. Humility. Humility, you humble yourself, to help you to have faith, help you to long for his presence. Because this is a formula of taking you out of any pain and to help you to love him no matter what you go through. Your love should not become cold. Your love should not, for God should not fade. Can you tell God, install these things by your Holy Spirit into my heart. This, install these qualities in me. Install these qualities in my heart. Install these qualities. Install them. Install them to me, Lord. Instruct them to me. Let me not lose hope. At not, not, it doesn't matter what comes. It doesn't matter what happens around my life. Let me not lose the confidence I have for you. Let me not lose that faith. Let me continue humbling myself. Let me continue longing for your presence. Let my, your anger, your, uh, my anger for you grow. Let my anger for you. I pray that I will never be used to your voice. But let 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 every time have a new desire for your presence, for your house. Let me not be used to your house. Let me love to be in your house. Let me love to worship. Let me love to be in your presence. Let me love to be in your presence, O Lord. Oh, Father, 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 help me also. Help me, Lord, not to lose love. Not to lose love for you. My love should not fade away. Uh, you said in the last day, the love of many shall grow cold. I pray that mine shall not be growing cold. Not be to many problems. The love of many and due to many challenges. The love of many shall grow cold. I pray that mine shall not grow cold. 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 Rabbi di Katala. 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 Bazaar. Help us Lord. Help us, O oh King. Help us, our Master and our Savior. Rabakata Sakata. Now, by faith, can you declare yourself out? Can you declare yourself out? Out, 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 out. Declare, I am out of this. Mention what you are coming out of. I say, I am out of this. I am out of this. I am out of this. Can you declare yourself out? I say, declare yourself out. Can you declare? 
Declare yourself out. Declare yourself out. Don't wait for somebody to declare you out. Declare yourself out. Declare yourself out. Declare yourself out. Declare yourself out. Say it. Say, I am out of this. 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 Can you declare it? Can you declare yourself I'm out? Can you declare I'm out? Can you declare you're out? You're out. You're out. Can you declare your heart? Makata Santa, Rabakata, Rabishikita, Rabakata Raba, Shantarababa. Rabakata, can you declare release now? You are in a season of release. Can you declare this is my time? I am out of this. I am being released. I am being released from this. I am being released from this. Rabbi di Katalaba, Rabakata, Rabaza, Rabakata, Rabashaka. Now tell God, lift our hands in humility and tell God to give you strength to move to the next level. To give you strength, to give you strength, to give you strength for another level. Come on, lift. Lift up your hands and tell them, give me strength. Empower me for the next level of my life. Empower me for the next level of my life. Lift up your hands and tell them, Father, empower me for the next level of my life. Let me move to the next level. Let me move to the higher ground. Let me move to the higher glory. Ha! Ah, higher level of glory. Let me move to the next. Let me move to the next level. Allow me to move. It is my season of release. This level, this level, this is not my rest. 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 This is not my resting place. I come out. I come out of this level. 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 Rabakata sakata makatara shakata rabasha rabakata rabikiti rantaralakata. Can you put your hands together now if you believe like you have gone out? Can you celebrate the Lord for your victory? Celebrate the Lord for your victory. Celebrate the Lord for your victory. You are out of sickness. You are out of disease. You are out of limitation. You are out of distress. You are out of everything that was limiting yourself. You have prayed yourself out. Believe you are out. You have prayed yourself out of sickness. You have prayed yourself out. You have prayed yourself out. You are now out. In Jesus mighty name. Say amen. Can you look for one or two wait uh, two or three witnesses? That's are valid. Two or three witnesses and uh, tell them I have prayed myself out. Ha <laughs> ha. Look for them. Even if they don't believe you, tell them I have prayed myself out. I have prayed myself out. And I have not, <laughs> I have prayed myself out. Say amen. So when a situation comes, do what? Pray yourself out. Hallelujah. Pray yourself. Declare it is over even when it is too hot. Am I talking to you? Declare it is what? It is over. Even if it is too hot, but say it is. And laugh at it. Because you are going there. Victorious. When God was speaking to me this word, I felt so happy. I, I was smiling by myself. I said, hey, so Jonah. So this, this man <laughs> has a story to tell us in the realm of the spirits. I, I felt nice. Hallelujah. And I prayed that God to allow me to preach to you this word. I thought you will give me another one. Because I had three messages that I was supposed to preach today. But this one, <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. I felt encouraged by the story of John. Imagine swallowed by death and still you are seeing yourself alive. And seeing yourself there. Kwa weka kitu kadogo tu kanaanza kusema sasa mungu, sasa hapa tu meaoma unimalizia. Imagine. The man is dead. Dead. How, may, how long can you stay without oxygen? Hmm? And I said, my five, four, five what? Minutes. Four to five minutes. You're done. That's why water is the, the fastest killer. You die. Just like that. Imagine now, fish swallowing Jonah. And Jonah, fish did not swallow Jonah and 
Jonah entered the fish together with some water and weeds until Jonah could feel the winds that the fish had eaten surrounding his end. Hapo tumesoma amesema yani ile kwekwe samaki amekula alikuwa kwa kichwa ya Jonah Tuweke hapo aone unajua wengine wanasema unafikiria niwaambia tu for the sake Hmm Eh alimezo akiwa na maji maji kamzunguka kwanza ni maji samaki Eh sasa the deep close me close around me winds around where eh, the winds that they are eating huko hiyo chakula ya ingine unajua jona hakuwa chakula kuna ile winds ambazo samaki alikuwa amekula iko kwa kichwa ya jona yani jona ambaye ni food amekataa kuwa food that is you eh? wana kuswalo wana kuvomit because you waste kuwa digested no enzymes can enter you eh unakata unakuwa mtaf hmm? unajua begu ukimesa ikiwa haijasiagwa inatokana na kuwa mzima oh, we notice meza maibu utaitoa ikiwa maibu imetengenezwa such that is ikuwe coating yake ya njuu no enzymes can enter until you split it sasa ndio unapea room wewe we ni mbegu kuna mbegu zilimezwa na mtu wakaenda choo na zikamea ah na zilipitia katikati ya chakula na ikamea na ikawa muti that is one one way of seed dispersal that's one way of seed what Eh, yeah, you disperse it like that. If you don't kama huko tafunwa, ni kumezwa ulimezwa. Sasa usivujike. Hata wakikuweka kwa tubo, watakutoa mahala tu. Halafu utafaidi yourself and you grow again. You are a seed. Eh? Yeah? And this seed cannot be corrupted by anything the seed of god hey. na mbegu ya bwana haiharibikangi sema mimi ni mbegu ya bwana na sitaharibika sitaharibiwa sema amen and you move like that with confidence that's why i send here we are taking the wound for jesus and God is releasing wealth to us in a bigger way. I, I was telling people here during the grace hour, I think grace hour even in service, I've been receiving checks from here, from the people here, of 300,000, 500,000. This has been common. If you don't give, don't be, don't be scared. There are people who love God here, and they give. So I want us to move from that to go to millions. Ah come on come on. I am contesting for the levels of what? Millions. That one can write a check of 10 million, 50 million and we finish the budget of the year. Am I talking to you? And we are doing that because silver and gold belongs to our father say amen so you cannot be poor money must be in your hands do your hands like this say my hands you are created anointed consecrated and ordained to reach to catch rich things touch wealth and whatever you touch must flourish in Jesus name so in those hands God will put millions that you can count millions 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 like a job and some of us the way you give 10,000 and you don't feel you have been giving 10 million without feeling without feeling the weight because God will bless you 
these hard times came to prepare us for the wealth. So the kingdom wealth is being released in this season. After COVID, it is kingdom wealth. Not my ones. It is the kingdom wealth. So God will release to the hands of the people. Hallelujah. And uh, if you are to be that rich, you must be generous. If you are not generous, God says he will bless you so that you can be generous in every. You will be made rich in all ways that you can be generous. So if your purpose is not becoming generous, you are forfeited to be rich. So be generous. Be a giver. And you will bless. Begin dreaming how you can build uh, old people's school and hire nurses. There are so many nurses without a job. Hire them to take care of these people with your own Say hallelujah. hallelujah. You build. You build an orphanage. You put children. You give them a cover. You give them a home. You give them a school. Am I talking to you? And it can happen. It can happen. The reason why we don't have much is because we dream about our stomach. We don't see other things that we ought to do. To be efficient. Even donors, they don't give you for personal use. Have you ever seen any donor giving you for personal use? They give you to help. Although some say they are going to help and they, they mix it in a sandwich. So God is not like this donor. He knows your heart. So I pray that you will be blessed. Put your hands together for Jesus and appreciate him again. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. You may have your seats. Thank you very much. That was a bonus. That was what? A bonus. Our online church, we are blessed to have you. And I 